I won't be using this camera for a lot of video, but I'll just do a little bit so we get to the cattle grid. So you get an idea. I've parked up there. I stopped at Penhill Farm and asked a woman who was very kind and she uh, told me it's not far. Because I could have walked up from their farm, but I thought, see, they're going up there. Is that the designated path? Yeah, there's a gate there, look, Shill. It's signposted. God, that looks steep on its own, doesn't it? That's the, they're my sort of reference points. So he's taking his little son up there, or grandson, it looks like to me. You're holding his hand. There it is. It's a bit like going up Brent Knoll, isn't it, really, when you're up here? I'm not doing the, don't forget, I'm not doing the big walk. Um, the big circular. No, I'm just going up and down. That's all I'm doing. That's going to be enough. I've recovered a bit from the long drive two days ago. I thought I can't come all the way here and not do that hill, which is so significant for my ancestors. I can't come all the way here and not do it. <coughs> now, the only reason my bag is heavy today is because um, I've had to carry lots of water. Lots of water and a picnic to get when I get to the top. It's going to take several hours, but here we go, folks. I'm not going to be doing a lot of videoing as I go uphill. Right. You're now in a sensitive area. Right, now, he went up there. Public bridle path to Penn Hill, one and a quarter miles. Right, over and out, folks. Here we go. It looks like you go up there. You wouldn't know. If I didn't see those two people, I think I would have gone across the field. Would you? Yeah. They're my guides. Over and out. Is that got... Do not this camera's terrible as well. Is it doing it? Yeah, right. Guess where I am. Guess what that big hill is? On the 31st of July 2024. It's Penn Hill, not Pendle Hill, where the witches were hung in, during the witch trials. I'll leave that for another time. It's similar though. Not from this angle, but from another angle. Now, the farm lady said to me, most people, a lot of people walk around and get to the top, but you can go straight up. She said it might be better to do the gentle way round. You still get to the top and you get different views. The man in front of me with his grandson, I it might be his son, I don't know, but he's uh, his little boy, he's only little, I reckon he's only about eight. And he's doing well, bless him. They look round now and again to see where I am because they're parked next to me, see? But they've got very light bags. I've got loads of water. I'm going to have a drink of water when I get to the next gate. He might make him climb that because he is young. He could probably do it. So could I on a cold day. All right, this. I got here early. I thought, yeah, it might be difficult parking. There ain't a lot of room. Um, somebody else has just arrived parking between me and the, the man up, up there and his little boy. <sighs> You just gotta keep your fingers cross, across that they're in rogues, haven't you? So there it is, it's getting closer. You can, there's the beacon, you can just go up. Or you can go around like a, a like, it's a bit like um, a castle keep area below the keep and it could who knows it could have been used as that by the Vikings 
because it controls the whole of this land. And I bet when I read up on it more, which I haven't done yet, I'll find out. But don't forget we have got ancestors from here now. It's that the lead started with the Fletchers, the Kings, the Buxtons. It's not really that far back. <sighs> Betsy Buckton married a John King. <sighs> and they had kids, like including a Jane King, named after her grandmother. Jane Robinson. Is it Jane Robinson? I always thought it was Judith, it can't be. It must be Jane, I think. Yeah, it is Jane. For some reason I thought it was Judith, but no, the, we have got a Judith Robinson back in medieval times. And uh, that's, that's all tied up with the Stuckville line. Yeah, we have got a Judith. But no, this is Jane. Jane Robinson. And I did, I haven't looked up all these other Robinson graves yet, but I did find other Robinsons. <clears throat> and one Bagley. There was only one Bagley mentioned actually in the burial information. There was only one Buckton mentioned in the burial records within the church of Holy Trinity, Wensley. And, but there were six or seven Robinsons. And even if they didn't have their graves were unreadable, I photocopied the, well, I printed off the, no, I took a photograph of the burial grounds in case I come back another time. Fortunately today, fortunately, they do predict storms later. That's why I got up here early. They predicted storms, but they've also said it'd be cloudier. So from my point of view, that is good. For it to be cloudier, because it's cooler. Right, in a minute, we'll be going round and up. We're not going to go like that. I would have done once, and I would do in the winter. We're going to be sensible, as the farmer suggested. I expect the younger leg was coming up behind me. I was a bit worried about doing this walk, you know. I thought, I thought, will I make it? Will I be able to do it? You've done hills in Somerset, Sheila. Come on. I think that's quite a big hill. It would be to someone who didn't know it. They'd think, oh, that's big. So, yeah. See the cars. Let's hope no one makes it. That's all we can, that's all we can pray for, really. Otherwise you wouldn't go anywhere. Otherwise it meant walking up, right down in that valley and up. And I didn't think that was a good idea. So this is Sheila. Penn Hill, Wensleydale. There's Wensleydale, folks. Right in front of me. I won't, it's not very, it's a bit misty. It's Wednesday Church, and I spent quite a few hours in and uh, in the church and in the graveyard yesterday. I can see a bit of the river Ur, U R E, just a little glint of it there. And, and I went and saw the waterfall. There was a pub there, the Three Horseshoes, I think it was called, and a candle works. I also had a bit of. Wednesday Dell cheese. It was on offer. I ate some of it, but I think it's going to... I don't know if it's poison sweet it when it's hot. 
Oh yeah, I've had a big chunk of it. It tastes like Stilton. It's called blue. It's yellow with blue streaks in it. They had two other types, but I didn't have them. Yeah, we'll be going round. Uh, I haven't seen the man and the little boy going up. So I should imagine, because he's little. When he's a bit bigger, that little boy will probably run up there. As runners probably do. But you can imagine it being a torrent, can't you, in the winter with the rain pouring down. Yeah, he's gone round. So this is Sheila, 31st of July, 2024. That is Penn Hill, okay? Right in front of me, just up there is the beacon. But I've got a feeling the trick point is further over. Don't forget my bag is very heavy. My bag, I've been training with this heavy bag for years actually. I've been training with it <sighs> to be able to carry the water. <sighs> I mean the only difference today is the fact that I have done a lot of hiking in July. Big eight hour walks and hills and uh, I had that long drive. I was sort of driving really for about 10 hours, but that includes stops by the way, so you can probably knock off two hours. Very, very busy motorway. Very pleasant drive though, once I got off the motorway through the Dells. This is going to be a busy week. I got Lincoln tomorrow. Someone's given me the address of a campsite near Lincoln that I could try and camp there for two nights. Right, because I haven't booked a hotel there. I was just going to turn up and uh, pay the money. It's expensive. But I, ain't, I don't do this very often. Now, the last time I saw the little boy, they'd just come through the gate and they were just about here. Hello, Penn Hill. I'm a descendant of some of your children. The Robinsons, the Bucktons, the Bagleys, the Loons, and there will be others. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while, everyone. I'll be back on in a minute. God, I hope that did record. Right folks, we're coming up to the beacon. We've just snaked all the way up. The trick point's over there. We'll go to that. The beacon looks higher than the trick point now. So, the little boy was on top of here a minute ago. He looked so happy to have got... I don't know if, if they've gone downhill now. Oh no, I think they're probably sat on the top. Over there, I'll just zoom into the back. Can't see a thing with the camera, so over there somewhere is a trick point. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see it. I really need to get a camera with a viewfinder. It's over there anyway. <sighs> right, we're coming up to the beacon, but the little voice there, so I might have to turn the camera off. I'll turn it off for a minute. Now we'll do a little bit of the walk. There's more cars parked where I am now. They might have come up through here, I didn't. I went around to me texts. 